So this morning they're packing up the truck. We're going to their beach house for three or, three or four nights, I think. Go to the beach, swim in the sea, try not to get eaten by sharks. And Sue's just helping them pack, climb in the back of their truck. One of Joe's many trucks. And I'm just having a coffee. Sat here with the dogs, enjoying the beautiful sounds of the birds. We are at Bucky's. One of our friends, Lucy, loves this place. It has about, I'm not exaggerating, maybe a hundred pumps. Maybe a hundred pumps. It's huge. But they're also famous for their sandwiches as well, which we're gonna have a little look inside in a minute. But I've, it's just the biggest gas station, as they would call it in America. Let's have a look inside. And of course, as you'd expect with any gas station, they're selling, selling smokers outside and smokers inside. It's like a supermarket, but a gas station. It's just huge. Look at it, it has a bakery. Man, it's just a giant store. Unbelievable. So inside Bucky's as well, they have all these burritos and tacos and food, just food. Honestly, it's like a Walmart, but it's, people have shopping trolleys. It's a gas station. People come in shop. Oh, look at these cakes. Look at all these cakes. Oh, beaver top. Just food after food after food. This is amazing. Wow, look at this. Are you ready? Chicken tenders, wraps, sandwiches, hot dogs. The food goes on and on and on. This is more of the healthier snacks, I guess. I guess. But some fruit there. Caesar salads. Cheese, selection of cheeses. Oh, look at that, you can get peas and fruit and things. Oh, interesting. Again, I'd just like to highlight this is a Bucky's. Bucky's uh, gas station, not Walmart, but it certainly feels like we're at a Walmart. So uh, we've offloaded at the beach house, which I'll try and show you a bit later. Look at this cute garden here, though. Got little wooden flowers at the front, and of course we haven't eaten for about well, I don't know, maybe 50 minutes. So we're going for lunch now. Alfie's is the first place Joe took me to when we first met about 12 years ago. Very first time. We've been there, so we haven't eaten in here for 12 years about. And look at that, you can just see, well, just see, it's there. There's the water, a super zoom to that as well. Man, going in that later. And guess what, it is hot. Hot, 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 beautiful. Never tried this before, New England clam take chowder. A, take a taste. Oh. It won't when kill you. Oh, man. When you get a, a clam in your mouth, <laughs> Oh come! Mm. Is it it's a bit like a potato soup, but it is. you can you can taste the clamminess, which Just is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Here's mine: a flat iron steak, vegetables. Oh, I just want some vegetables and mac and cheese. Thank you. But I'm going to have some mac and cheese because I know it's going to taste good. They know how to make mac and cheese here. Mm. Let me cut the bit of steak so it tastes like. So. Her steak of after to be cooked medium, cooked very well. That is delicious, so good. <laughs> so this is, what's it, deep fried? Deep fried ice cream. Ice cream, look at the size of it. I think this is cream. Yeah, but you've not even touched the batter. The batter's in there. The oh bit. my life. <laughs> I've got to say, it tastes so good. <laughs> mm. <coughs> this is ridiculous. How am I going to eat this? So after all that ice cream, I've decided to lay in the back of Joe's truck while we drive to St. Augustine's. So I've got this beautiful view, fully stretched and just chilling. I'm trying to sleep off that ice cream coma. Beautiful idyllic spot. 
ready to catch a boat to Fort Matanza. We're waiting on one thing and that's for this little sleepy baby to wake up from his nap. We are now at St Augustine's and we're just waiting for a ferry to go into Matanza Island I think and they were talking about the uh, the oysters here each individual one can fill up to 50 gallons of uh, water a day 50 gallons for one little oyster Isn't that amazing filters the water cleans it look how beautiful it looks wow what a day on a little ferry now going over to Merritt Island no, no? what what island we're at Fort Matanza. Fort? Matanza. Oh, Fort Matanza. I don't know. Where, where are we now then? Merritt Island? No. I don't know where Merritt Island come from. <laughs> anyway, we're off to Fort Matanza. <laughs> One, it's one of the only naturally occurring rocks here in Northeast Florida, and two, uh, it's really only found in like seven parts of the world, and they just so happen to get lucky and have it here. How amazing is that? We are at the very top of the fort now, and they built this to defend uh, St. Augustine's against pirates and the British. Well, I think we wanted everything, the Brits, but still, can see why. <laughs> Beautiful land. And all this rock is made from crushed shell. Shell. Look at that. Amazing. Isn't it? Done the island, and now we're just going on a little walk through the forest. And here it's very shady. And it's so much cooler. It's lovely. Look at these palms. Don't know if you can hear all the birds. It's lovely. Here we are, St. Augustine's. It's the oldest city in America, I think. Certainly the oldest city in Florida. Probably like 30, 40 years old. Um, it's gorgeous, so we've been here many times. So we're gonna have a little walk around, grab some coffee, maybe a Cinnabon, and just chill out. We're in this duck theme um, bar, and you've got the seats with ducks and Sue's found a dog. But it's like half a bath here. This is cool. We're gonna get a coffee here. In this cool little bar. Look at all the ducks on the wall as well. So cool. So my wife ordered a duck punch. Try it, babe. See so what you think. You like it? I'll try a little bit as well. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Yum, yum. Obviously famous because our website's made it onto the duck bar. <laughs> so I'm very adventurous. I'm having a coffee with a duck. And he's crapping in it. <laughs> a unique flavor. Yeah, that's cool. This is at the duck bar. Just found a cool little shop selling all sorts of trinkets. But look at this Harley Davidson here. Now that. Is a bike, right? It's a beautiful bike. Wow, look how shiny that is. Beautiful. Gorgeous. This is the oldest uh, schoolhouse, the oldest wooden schoolhouse, I should say, in the USA, St. Augustine's, Florida. Well, wow, that's some pretty good Nick. It's 
quite cool. Look at all these cheesecakes and parfaits and cakes and more cakes and just cakes and cakes and cakes. Did I say cakes? Why? Gotta love Walmart, gotta love it. I'm not sure if they've got enough cheese balls. Um, and look at the size. There's my hand. It's huge. So these are cheese balls, only $6.98 at Walmart. Why? That's a lot of cheese balls. We're just going to have a little snack tonight. Chicken, sweet corn, um, some butter buns, buttered buns, and bread beans. And we're going to have a little soup with that as well. You know, because you need soup with it as well. So just to, you know, keep us going.